Miss Pritzel at the Up and West Library, and I am book talking a non fiction, so true story, memoir. Okay, so the author is Rex Ogle, real person writing about his childhood. It's called Free Lunch. Okay, <laughs> so um, Rex Ogle, um, this is the first of three so far biographies written. A memoir, I, a memoir just so you understand, is usually a shorter person part of a person's life, not like trying to capture the full view. So Rex is just starting middle school at the time of this book. So Rex is biracial. He's white and Mexican, uh, of Mexican descent. Uh, he, his grandmother is the one who emigrated to the United States. Uh, he's living in poverty and he's also living with domestic violence and his father is also abuses alcohol, stepfather abuses alcohol. So this book, like I said, starts with middle school. It's called Free Lunch because his mom has just put him on the free lunch program. And so there's a lot in this book about the hassle of being on the free lunch because, you know, I think our kids just scan their IDs or type in their ID numbers now. And this was a time when, you know, like they would, and I'm sure it still happens in some states where they would just open a book and check off your name, but then everybody knows you're getting free lunch. Uh, and just kind of the humiliation that never seems never ending in it. So, like I said, Rex is in middle school. He has a younger sibling, Ford. Uh, he's often responsible for the younger sibling. He balances his mother's checkbook because she can't manage it. His mother doesn't really work and uh, has worked in the past, but doesn't, yeah, either doesn't want to work. He's never really sure, like, why. I always see, like, I always see these, like, jobs, you know, out there and, like, why aren't you working? Um, so, I believe his stepfather does get a job near the end of the book. Um, like I said, his stepfather is physically abusive to him and his mother, and but his mother is also verbally and physically abusive to Rex, as well as to the stepfather. Um, it's, it's not a good dy dynamic, let's just put it that way. So some of the things, like I said, Rex is dealing with, he's got the free lunch, um, they're often hungry. He's always wearing like hand-me-down clothes. Uh, they have no phone line, so he has to call his abuela, who's the one shining spot in his life, um, uh, collect, which he hates to do. Uh, there's times when he's sick and they can't go to the hospital because they don't have medical insurance. Uh, he sleeps in a sleeping bag in his room. He has no furniture in his bedroom. Uh, there's it's just like I said, this is, I've been wanting to read this book for a while, but I knew it was going to be a little traumatic to read it. <laughs> um, and it is, but it's, I, I believe that books have a, allow us to walk in somebody else's shoes. You know, I, most people don't advertise things and it gets me into the head of somebody who's dealing with poverty, abuse, uh, and just a very difficult family situation and I, I'm so glad I finally did read it and one of the reasons I did is because it's pretty short now we got a black line through this it's because uh, one of the other libraries had extra so I'm like I'll take another book of his uh, so I did so it does say apple tea must up there all right uh, if this is not your cup of tea which I really do understand if it's not I will help you find something else have a fantastic day and keep on reading